Now, who owns our genetic material? For the first time, that question is being asked in an Australian court. The legal challenge to a breast cancer test follows a similar lawsuit in the United States. Women with mutations to a gene called BRCA1 are about five times more likely to develop breast cancer than women without the mutation. Yvonne Darcy was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 1998, then again 10 years later. She's part of a landmark Australian case which will test whether the patent awarded to a US biotech company for the breast cancer gene is legal. To me it is morally wrong to privatise human parts of the body. In March, a judge in the United States ruled that isolated genetic material was a discovery, not an invention, and therefore the patent was invalid. Australian lawyers have just launched similar action in the federal court. It's completely groundbreaking in the sense that it's the first time an Australian court has been asked to rule on the validity of granting patents over human genetic material. In Australia, it costs more than $2,000 to get the BRCA1 test. That's out of reach for patients like Yvonne Darcy. I would love to have the, had the test, and I would like my daughter to have the test as well. But neither of us at the moment can afford the, the, the price that they're asking. The Australian biotech company that licences the test from the United States says if patents were removed, it would seriously impact on medical research. It would really take away some incentive for commercial development of, of new therapies and diagnostics that would help save Australian lives. The implications of this case are enormous. Up to 20% of the human genome has already been patented. The Senate is currently investigating the issue of whether genes should be patented. The committee is due to report back in the August sitting of Parliament. Sophie Scott, ABC News.